So uh, we do have some breaking news, departing from uh, Paul Maurice for a second. Man, the NHL is full of breaking news at the moment. Uh, another name added to COVID protocol, and we're seeing more and more of this with the Edmonton Oilers. Ooh. Ryan Nugent Hopkins is going into COVID protocol. Oh, boy. Uh, now, remember, COVID protocol doesn't necessarily mean positive. It could be we don't know. Uh, right. and, and obviously, you can, you can test your way out of it. So yeah. sometimes these, they're being overly cautious, and they should be right now. But if you want to hear some good news, also just broke... Uh, Jason Spezza had his uh, suspension reduced from six games to four games. Oh. He will play tomorrow night. So, oh, oh, wow. All right. Wow. That's good, right? I think it makes sense. I mean, listen, I don't think any of the arguments for reducing his suspension was that the, what he did wasn't bad. I don't, I don't remember us ever making that argument. But... 1,200 games played, clean sheet. Yeah. And it was a point that Elliot Friedman made on his most recent um, 32 Thoughts. He's like, first of all, the appeal process has to be better. It's terrible. <laughs> Why did it take this long? And second of all, um, you know, perhaps there should be equal treatment across the board, but if you're going to make exceptions for anybody, it should be a guy who's been in the league for over two decades and... I just got to oh, know what Gary's doing your like with his time. Oh, That's sweet. just his job. Okay. Uh, can I throw this out there? This is so far down the, the list of Gary Bettman priorities. That's and a, this terrible. needs to be something that... No, it's... Okay, there's the Board of Governor meetings. Uh, the Blackhawks just came to a settlement with Kyle Beach, which we'll talk to later. They have settlement talks with John Doe 2 coming December 20th, which is in uh, just a few days. COVID is rampant, and the Olympics are a huge issue. This should be something that Gary Bettman should be able to delegate. I mm. think he did do that, and somebody else did all of this. And then they handed Gary Bettman a, a, a folder, a man manila file folder. Is that what they're called? Manila. A manila file folder yeah. on, onto his desk and said, Gary, this is your decision here. And he just went, put my yeah. signature on that, and then he did it. I think that could have been done within, I don't know, 24 hours. No, I agree. No, the process is... <laughs> so, I'm, no, we agree. We agree. Yeah. The process is terrible. I disagree that you can agree. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I think you're both disagreeing right now, and I'm agreeable to you guys disagree. My brain just... Like, I will? Uh, you ought to. Anyway. <laughs> Long no, story like, it should have been done sooner. It needs to be better. 100%. It should have been done 100%. better. But he's going to play tomorrow. And listen, I do still think Spezza deserved four games for that. Yes. Yeah. I think four is fair. Yes. I also think what or, it does, guys, is it allows six. Just give us an answer. It allows for the NHL, though. This is interesting because he, here's the thing. Fan bases need their pound of flesh, right? What Spezza did, if, if somebody had done that to Rasmus Sandin or Timothy Lilligren or one, of, or one of the players on my team, I would have been furious. What the NHL does then is they throw the meat to the wolves, which is us, and they go six games and you go fucking right. And then a week later, when you don't give a shit anymore, they go, actually, four. And you're like, ah, <laughs> I'm over it. And it's actually kind of a smart move, right? It's good PR. It, and, and believe me, that matters. That counts. Anybody watching this who doesn't think that counts, guys, that counts. They care. They do care about that. Also, as much as, as, much as their process is ridiculous and stupid, it's specifically made so that they can't be held accountable. Well, which fan base would be the most mad about this news? The Jets. You know, okay, let me just slide this under the door. Let me just... Uh, also, we right. reduced it by 33%. All right, let me just... Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting timing, to say the least. Let me mm -hmm. just sneak that by you right there. Very <laughs> Canadian of you there, Gary. Um, but uh, it's... To, to me, the amount of games, like the fact that it was reduced, like I don't have a passionate opinion about whether or not it should have been reduced i do have a passionate opinion about when there is an appeal there needs to be a quick answer right there's no reason you can't have an answer to that within 48 hours no there isn't uh but the nhl goes fuck you we don't care also shout okay. out Spezza for getting two game checks back <laughs> That's not oh. that's not insignificant. You well, know, he gets yeah. might be. <laughs> he the he lost I think it was 20,000 over the course of 6 games cuz he you know, he's on league min or whatever. Um so he gets back a third of that. 
still money. It's money. <laughs> what are you, it's like sixty six hundred bucks or something. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Not take your sixty six grand? I he can go out there and get a uh, the used car he's always wanted. <laughs> I'm happy for Jason Spetson. Uh, I'm sure sixty six hundred dollars will go a long way. He's to probably making that. Based on the money he's made in his career, if you with the right financial manager, he's probably making that per month on interest on the money he has. Like, think about that. Yeah, if you have the right, you don't, you you don't want right, another month? I suppose, but I don't think he's. I don't think he's losing sleep over. Hey, Adam, here's five dollars. Do you no, want? No, I it? want that fucking five dollars. Thank you. But I'm not Jason Spetz. I'm not sitting on forty million in the in career earnings. Let's say, <laughs> let's say he's got ten million in the bank. Or ten million in, in in investments. Okay, let's say he's just got ten. So we're going by the thirty oh, percent rule. What are we doing? God, okay? I'm so dialed. So into if you this got if you got uh, the right money manager who gets you between four and seven percent, Frank Zeka. That Frank Zeka. Let's say you got ten million in the bank. That's four hundred to seven hundred grand each year. So he could be on ten million bucks making league min on top of the league min he's making. Sure. See, these are the thoughts that go through Adam's head. Here's what is going through my head. Jason Spezza could take that $6,600, put it into a t-shirt cannon, walk into the nearest Starbucks and fire it at all the employees and say, Merry Christmas, Don't do that. and walk out. Why that's not? A, that's a fire hazard. Yeah, Steve, you're a fire hazard. <laughs> I think they'll risk it. <laughs> Don't do that. It's somewhat, okay, you're, w let me look into the camera. Like, you can fire, here. <laughs> you can fire money at me. You're allowed. This is, you're allowed to fire Adam, money at me. what else we got on the I'll show I'll take today. the risk of you firing money at um, me.